Hello, and thank you for joining us at LD Carlson. My name is Travis Sessions, part of the LD Carlson education team, and today we're going to be taking a tour of the Brewer's Best Equipment Kits. Each of these kits adds a different part to your brew day experience. The standard kit comes with everything that you need to ferment beer. You'll just need a stock pot large enough to boil two gallons of water, and your stove. The deluxe kit adds the extra complexity of secondary fermentation, and the Beast is an all-inclusive kit. It adds a 20-quart stock pot and everything found in the other equipment kits. So let's take you on a little trip, explain what each item does, and if there's a pro tip that I can offer in between, we'll gladly do so. Thanks again for your time and let's get to the materials. The first items you'll find in any of the Brewer's Best kits will be your primary fermentation bucket and a bottling bucket. You can differentiate between the two by a one inch hole drilled towards the bottom of the bottling bucket. This is where you will attach the spigot. Also, you will find a lid with a hole drilled and a grommet for your airlock. Try to avoid scratching the inner walls of either of these buckets, as those scratches can harbor bacteria, which will aid in spoiling your beer. With the bottling bucket, be sure to disassemble completely between each use for cleaning and sanitization. Always be sure to hand tighten and never use pliers with the spigot. Pro tip, be sure the spigot is in the closed position before use. Your airlock will be affixed to the bucket lid. This is a simple device that will prevent air from getting in while letting the gases produced during fermentation out. You can fill with clean water or sanitization water will work. Be sure to not fill above the fill line. During secondary fermentation, your airlock will be attached to the stopper and inserted in the top of the carboy. Since this will be coming out of sanitized water, it may try to slide up a couple times. Be sure to press it back down to get an airtight seal. Your kit will come with a 5 foot siphon hose, a combination bottle filler, and a Firmtech auto siphon. The auto siphon is a gravity device, so you will need to make sure whichever vessel you are draining is above the vessel you are filling. Attach the hose to the auto siphon and give it a couple pumps to get it moving. During bottle filling, you will attach the hose to the combination bottle filler and to the spigot. Make sure the spigot is in the off position, but once everything is attached, you can leave it on. The combination bottle filler is a spring-loaded device and will only allow beer to flow once depressed. This is your double lever capper. Apply a sanitized cap to the magnetic post in the center and press evenly on both handles to affix to the top of a bottle. Be sure the bottle is on a flat and stable surface before attempting to cap. Should the bottle be on an uneven surface and move, or if uneven pressure is applied to the handles, there is risk of breaking the top of the bottle. Don't let that intimidate you though. Trust yourself and after the first few, you'll get the hang of it and be moving right along. Your bottle brush is a straightforward device. This is used to remove any form of deposits from the bottom of your bottles. Make sure to wash and sanitize before and after each use. Your Brewer's Best Brewing Guide will give you step-by-step -step instructions to brewing your first batch of beer. We invite you to check us out on LD Carlson YouTube for videos on the brewing process. The Brewer's Best Beer Ingredient Kit will give you a short list of kits we have available. For further listings and for seasonal offerings, please go to www.brewersbestkits.com for a complete list. Easy Clean is exactly that. It is a no-rinse cleanser for sanitizing your equipment. Dissolve one tablespoon per one gallon of warm water. Wash the surfaces with the solution. No rinsing is required. Your triple scale hydrometer is a pivotal part of the brewing process. This will be used to measure all forms of gravity. Please read the included instructions carefully before use and we invite you to check out our video on how to read a hydrometer on our LD Carlson YouTube channel. The dual scale liquid crystal thermometer can be used to monitor temperatures during fermentation. Affix this thermometer on the side of your primary fermentation bucket. Pro tip, make sure to keep your fermentation bucket off the floor for constant temperatures and avoid fluctuation. And that's it for the standard Brewer's Best Equipment Kit. You have all the tools you need to be able to brew a fantastic beer at home and go through the fermentation process. As we move into the deluxe kit, which adds secondary fermentation, all of these additional items can be found at your homebrew shop when you're ready. As for the secondary fermentation, this gives us a little bit more tools to refine the beer through the fermentation process. The next few items we'll show you will take you through that step-by-step -step process of what each item does. Let's jump back into the materials at hand. 
These are your secondary fermentation carboys. Depending on the kit you received, you may have received a 5 gallon glass carboy or a 5 gallon PET carboy. As with the fermentation vessels prior, avoid putting anything that can scratch the PET carboy and harbor bacteria. With either kit, a bung would be provided to affix the airlock. With the deluxe kit, you will also receive a carboy brush. You will notice this brush is bent approximately 90 degrees at its end to facilitate in cleaning the bottom surfaces. Avoid straightening this brush. Your 24 inch plastic paddle is specifically designed to disperse extract during your boil or stirring wort and mixing priming sugar in the bottling bucket. This is fully capable of withstanding the boiling temperatures. Make sure to scrape the bottom of your boil kettle to disperse any extract and avoid caramelization. And finally to the deluxe kit is a laboratory grade thermometer. Use this thermometer throughout the brewing process, particularly during the steep to ensure proper temperatures. And that does it for the Brewer's Best Deluxe Equipment Kit. You're all set up and ready for that primary fermentation, that secondary fermentation, and excitement of beer to come. The next few items we're going to discuss are the Brewer's Best Beast Equipment Kit. This will give you the boil pot, this will give you the sanitizer, and a test jar to take your original gravities. From there, you're set up, ready to roll, and time to brew. The 20-quart brew pot included in the Brewer's Beast Kit will work with any form of heating element. Use this on your gas or electric stove, or a burner should you have one available. Once you have achieved a rolling boil, you should wash and sanitize your lid for future storage. You should never cover your beer during the boiling process. Your 10 inch test jar will be used in combination with your triple scale hydrometer. It will be used for all gravity readings. Be sure it is sanitized before and after each use. IOSTAR is a powerful iodine based sanitizer safe to use on all brewing equipment. Please refer to the bottle's instruction for proper use. And that's it for the Brewer's Best Equipment Kits available. As you can see, you're set up regardless of what kit you have to go through the joys of fermentation and producing beer. As always, like and subscribe to the LD Carlson YouTube channel for future videos and all good things that are Beer Wine Insider. Until the next time, we'll see you then. Cheers.